Pre-planning is something often talked about, but too often forgotten. Pre-planning for an emergency. That's right. Whether it's stockpiling food and supplies in the event of an earthquake or fire, most people talk about it, but don't take the time to do it. And joining us this morning, our money and time-saving expert, Denise Winston, in the wake of everything that's happening in Japan. First of all, good morning, and thank good you for morning. coming Good morning. And secondly, let's talk about, when we are talking about that, you, you don't just need to stockpile food and supplies. You're also talking about people need to have a financial disaster plan as well. Absolutely. We live in Kern County, right on the San Andreas Fault, mm -hmm. and we have an issue with the Lake Isabella Dam. Right. It's important for us to really look at this. Number one, we really need to see what our insurance coverage is. Okay. Okay. Number one, uh, uh, um, insurance policies for flood and for earthquake, generally speaking, are a separate policy. So you need to even you need to look at those and know what you're covered for. But going forward from that, number one, in the emergency file, we must have, and that needs to be a grab okay. and go file that you can simply take with you, mm -hmm. stored in a waterproof, fireproof safe. You can pick those up for 50 bucks. But in that file, what you need is you need cash because ATM machines and credit mm -hmm. card machines are not going to be working. Small denominations, ones, fives, tens, that type of thing. Okay. Copy of your insurance policies with the contact information and photocopies of your ID and passports because if everything's destroyed, you, you have something to go forward with. Okay? okay. Second thing we always talk about an emergency cash reserve, but this brings it to a whole nother level because emergency cash reserves for evacuation and for deductible of your insurance policies is going to allow you to live. If you have nothing, you're going to be in a very bad situation and a little bit of pre-planning goes a very long way. And the last one is really inventory. Right now with technology, it's wonderful because video cameras are everywhere. But if you simply walk around your house and capture inventory of what the before was, mm -hmm. it's much easier to create. And you can upload that to YouTube, which is an off-site storage, oh, wow. right? Okay. And that's free. Oh, nice. that's true. Yep. That's upload the upload. And make sure you get the inside of your house, the outside, and your garage. Okay. Your cars, all of your contents. Denise, let me ask you this. Uh, how much would you say that maybe people should put in that uh, cash and go, uh, grab and go folder based on the size of your family? I, you know, you're going to have to make that personal mm -hmm. decision, but I okay. feel very strongly I, I have at least 50 ones in there. Okay. Because if you, you're not going to have the change, be able to right. make change, right? right. And you right. want to be, you don't want to overspend on something. So really, if you have a large family, you mm -hmm. should really consider having a substantial amount. Okay. Obviously, you don't want to get too much on your premises, but right. you know, a hundred dollars in small denomination okay. is going to get you by for a period of time. Okay, but just okay. make sure they're smaller denominations. I think a hundred bucks is, is a good place to start. To start. To start. And also, I wanted to ask you this because we always talk about this every time there's a time change. People check their batteries, their smoke detector. Mm -hmm. How often should you check and update your file as far as the pictures go and that kind of thing? You should probably do it on an annual basis. I still really? think January is a very busy time, but it's a it's an easy one to do to, mm -hmm. to remember. But either setting the forward clocks forward or that mm -hmm. type of thing might be a good time as well. But just getting okay. in the habit and really uploading that footage, that's probably the most important thing that we can do. It's free to do. Your cell phone, video cameras, your average cameras has a, a video in it. It's really easy to do. Some good ideas there. Yes, definitely. Great. Thank you so much Thanks for joining us. Let's so hope early. it never happens. Yes. Yes, exactly. absolutely. Exactly. All right. It is.